the press bar. I'm really excited to just give it all I got. After this season, I won't be back on this field again or maybe ever. So I plan to leave everything I have out here, work as hard as I can every day at practice and scrimmages and all the games. We definitely lost a lot of talent with seniors graduating last year. And I think we're probably a young team, especially with only three seniors. But I know we have a lot of talent returning from last year and a lot of new talent coming into the program. And 100 and Central has a great name. Everyone, I think, is kind of scared to play us in sports. They know that 100 and Central is not an easy team to beat in terms of lacrosse, but in every sport, and I'm just really proud to be a Red Devil. Regardless of the fact that they're all really young, they're so experienced, and being able to know that they're such an experienced team, I have so much trust in them. And overall, just I've known these girls my entire life, so growing up with them, I know that they know what to do on the field, and when time is comes to do the stuff they need to do, that they'll get it all done. I'm excited. We have a good group coming back. We're pretty young. You know, we've graduated only a couple seniors, and the, I mean, the seniors we graduated were really good players. They were the majority of our midfield, but we bring back most of our defense, um, a lot of attackers back. So it's just an exciting group to, to have this season. Clash between Hunter and Central Devils versus the Mount St. Mary Lions. How are we doing today, Logan? Uh, I'm doing pretty well, Josh. This is going to be an exciting game. Uh, they're coming off of a very interesting last season and uh, a loss. So. This will be very interesting. Yeah, uh, both teams started out 0 and 1. Both teams are Central is having their uh, home debut today. They played a Pingree on Tuesday and they lost 14 to 7. But Central came off a great year last year, going 18 and 5, and they're looking to go get their first one of the season today. Yeah, you know what else is interesting, Josh? Central has won three times against St. Mary. Last three times? Won three times. Won three games. And welcome back. Tip off or face off should be happening in a few minutes. Logan, well, today's a hot day, isn't it? Yeah, the weather's gonna be pretty cruel cool today. I'm not sure how easy that's gonna be on the players. 
Central's looking to get a win before spring break starts. Any plans for spring break, Logan? No, not really. Might see some colleges. What about you? I think I'll just relax. Nothing planned, really. Yeah. Sounds like something you would do. <laughs> Central last season went on an eight-game winning streak from uh, and during the month of April. They went five and zero in the Skyland Conference. That w that is uh, Mount Saint Mary went five and zero in the Skyland Conference. Finished first place in the Skyland Raritan Division. And Mount Saint Mary played Bridgewater Raritan on Tuesday. They lost fifteen to nine. And one of their best players, Grace Daly, scored six goals. Do you know what uh, Saint Mary's uh, score was last season? Their ratio. The record? Yeah. Uh, they ended the season last year 14 and 8. So very solid year for them. Central did better with 18 and 5 last year. Yeah, certainly, they're looking to get on the board this season. Tough to do that with the weather out here today, but they'll do their best. Both teams talking it over with the coach. Central coaches are uh, Jill Poshansky and Michelle Hodge. Looking to talk it over with the girls, game plan. I see fan favorite Parker Kinsley over there walking. Is he a fan favorite? He's a fan favorite for sure. Got pants on on a hot day like this. That's brutal. And he was running. It's gotta be tough. Track and track and field. It's just right before this. Yeah. You know my brother's on track and field. Yeah, really? What's his name? His name's Dylan. Dylan Williamson. Yeah. Baseball's got a game today, don't they? Yeah, baseball's playing. Uh, Ridge. Basting Ridge. Yeah. Away game for them. The uh, Central. Won their last game on Tuesday, 1 0 on the season. They got a great team, Logan. Baseball. I'm sure we do. Well, we'll see yeah. Lost a lot of their seniors last year, but the team's led by late, great Alex Chaco. Really? Yeah. Why is he late? I meant great he Alex Chaco. Nah, the great Alex Chaco. What does he play? He's a pitcher. Ah. Uh, so he's like the star of the team. Uh, they got a lot of good players, so. Yeah. What are you the star of, Josh? Uh, not baseball. Certainly not lacrosse. It's a very hard sport, especially when you're playing on turf on this hot day. It's brutal. Yeah, it's got to be very tough for the players. I used to play lacrosse when I was very little. Played a little bit. Not like actual games, though. We would just kind of like do drills. Then they'd give us candy at the end. That's the only reason I kept going, because I was very fat. So the game's going to be starting pretty soon. Yep. Players are taking their position. For Central. Mount St. Mary's is just getting out of the huddle. Central's got three seniors on the team. Isabel Cupo, Stephanie Gert, and Sarah Stetson. Quite a lot of sophomores, too. It's made up mostly of sophomores, the Central team. Yes, yeah, very young team. It just shows how great they are. Yeah. A lot of juniors on the team also. Pretty balanced team, yeah. class wise. Getting ready to getting ready to face off here. A lot of love from the fans here. Not a giant crowd, but they're definitely very passionate. That's for sure. Alright, she's starting. 
face off. In possession of Central. They look the push tempo. Oh. Is there a cover by the goalie? Who clears? Central a little loose with the ball to start. Has not cost them yet. And that is out of bounds. First whistle of the game. Ball's back. Ball is recovered by Central. Three on one here. And whistle stops play. Oh, never mind. Central looking to make something happen. Gonna reset their offense. They're feeding it around quite a bit out here. Mount St. Mary's is putting a lot of pressure on defense right now. And goal. First goal for Central. Crowd is very happy about that. That goal was. I don't think there's one person in the other bleachers back there. Confusion about who that goal was over. It looks like that was Joey Snow, sophomore, number eight. You know, speaking of sophomores, Josh, Caden Brandt, who is also a sophomore, scored. Uh, had it cut, came off of a great season last year. Yeah, amazing season. Scored four goals, led the team in their loss against Pingree. It's what you like to see if you're a sophomore, get a lot of confidence. Ball went into the bleachers of Mount St. Mary's. Whistle stops play. St. Mary with the ball now. Trying to make something work here. Feeds it up. Good defense here by Central. There's a great pressure defense by Central here. Not allowing Mount St. Mary's push up into the crease. I'll give St. Mary this. They're good at holding the ball. They haven't uh, lost it once. Central lost it a couple of times. Yeah, not sloppy with the ball. So whistle stops play. About to start back up. confusion here. We'll reset. Very aggressive defense by Central there. We'll stay here but what you like to see. 
Central playing that great pressure defense. See a lot of cradling going on here, trying to find open teammates. Good stop there by Central. It's a loose ball now. Battled around. Looks like Central's got it. Oh, no, it looks like uh, St. Mary had it. Moving the ball around now. Central's got a strong zone defense around the goal. Oh, they're breaking it. Looks like a penalty was called there. And Mount St. Mary's will. Oh, oh. Looks like they will fight with the ball. Good stop there by Central. Two goalies on Central. Emily Steinberg, the sophomore, and Isabel Kupo, the senior. Great teamwork there. We could not hold on to that one. Moving it down the field. Looks like Central got it back. And it'll again. It'll stay with Mount St. Mary's. Out of bounds call. Mount St. Mary's running up the field here. That's number 33, Shannon Rooney. Now a lot of cradling and. Feeding to teammates. Crease attacker. Central only three. I only have three defenders on the field at once for lacrosse, but they cer certainly are putting the pressure on Mount St. Mary's, making them work for every bit of offense they have. Yeah, Central's got a really strong defense around the crease, making it hard for uh, for anyone from St. Mary to really penetrate the goal. And another stop here. Fantastic block right there. This is Isabel Cupo. Fan favorite. She is one of the three re returning seniors for Central. A little under 17 minutes left of the half. And yet another. Central, a great job protecting the goal. I can't even imagine how sweaty those players are out there running around. I'm very sweaty in here. I'm going to need to take a shower immediately after this. I don't know about you, Josh. Yeah, it takes a lot of conditioning and stamina to play this sport. It's unbelievable. Looks like they've transitioned to a more man-on-man uh, -man style defense. Well, this is not basketball, Logan, but but that's that's a term you can use, Josh. Did you not know that? Yeah, I didn't. But how about you stay in your lane, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> and 
and uh, Mountaineers are <coughs> pushing their offense of tempo. Central is doing a great job denying Mount St. Mary's of even just pushing their offense up tempo. They're you see, even here, a lot of pressure defense. Yeah, they're doing a great job of switching tactics whenever they need to. They can go from a strong zone to a man-on-man -man style defense whenever they need to. So really, it just shows how great the coaching is for this team. Yeah, it's one no one nothing Central here. Most of the possession of through Mount St. Mary's, Central still is leading. Central is gunning them on both ends of the floor, out of the field today. And Central recoups. Sir Winsky with the ball. Pushing up the field here. The crowd is really excited right now. Oh, ball fumbled. Oh, back up. He's regained here. The attackers in the crease look to make something happen. Central trying to weave their way near the goal as goal. It's Caden Brandt who had four goals against Pingree. Has one of her own right now as a little over 13 minutes left of the half. Milo Santi assisting. Both teams look to face off. Following the goal by Caden Brandt. It's very impressive how uh, how fast Central got the ball and the goal there, given how long it took uh, St. Mary to just not get any goals. Yeah, getting past their defenders, like clockwork for them. Very fast possessions on offense, results in two nothing lead. Does that look to do it again? Good ball movement here by Central. Behind the crease, or in the crease, behind the goal. Trip results in a turnover. And St. Mary's will have the ball. Even if they haven't scored any points, you got to give credit to St. Mary that they, uh, of the ability to just keep getting the ball. They've had a lot more possessions than Central so far this game. Yeah, definitely benefited off of Central's early mishaps with the ball. Yeah, they were definitely very clumsy. S you see Central's kind of a, a full court press basketball term. The attackmen are not, or the defenders are not the only one who defend during play. Attackmen ride sort of like a full court press in basketball. Getting up in up in their grill, you would, you would say. You know what? That's a very interesting comparison, and I agree. Oh. They steal here by Central. I would really like that one. That was El Rinsky with the steal. Fan favorite.
gonna try for a third goal here. Little reset here at Central. And goal does not count. Would have been 3 0 lead Central. Instead, Whistle stops play. Both teams will fight for the ball again. A little, uh, there's a violation there on offense. Free shot here. Goal! It's Caden Brandt again. That is their second goal. Central has a demanding lead against St. Mary right now. It's not looking very good for them. At this pace, Central could balloon their lead even more. That's what you like to see early on in this first half. A little over 10 and a half left to play in this first half, but you just love it. This is what you like to see, Logan. Yeah, definitely. This is like... You see Central, or St. Mary's is uh, struggling on the offensive end early on, but... On the other side of the field, Central seems to have it their way. They're really not struggling at all to score. Yeah, almost every possession they've gotten, they've scored on. So that's just a testament to and a how good they are at offense. Face off here. And a whistle stops play. Giant clear. There's Maya Lasani who won the face off. Sorry, Logan. What were you saying? I said there was a giant clear there. That's right. Another reset here by Central. So try to evaluate their options here on offense. I think they might just feed it to each other until they can find an opening. That's what it looks like. Good ball moving here by Central yet again. Looks like St. Mary's closing it up a bit. Bringing more intensi intensity on defense then. This gives Central an opportunity, I think. And would have been Mount St. Mary's ball, but we'll stay here, it looks like. Another free shot here. And no Out of bounds here. It's Fans are very adamant about that call. Yeah, they definitely just agree with that. And a steal here. A good opportunity there. Instead, Mount St. Mary's is running. They're very close to stepping out of bounds there. Pressure defense by Central cannot go their way though. St. Mary's here back on offense. So they evaluate their options. Seems like they're going to the same game plan each time on offense near the crease. Central is good, doing a good job denying them. Double comes. Love the intensity by Central here. Intensity Good from fake there by Mount St. Mary's. And another block. Crowd's very happy about that. Isabel Cooper, yet again, denying Mount St. Mary's. That could have been their third goal there. Three stops there on defense. St. Mary just cannot stop whiffing, gosh. Uh, it looks like it. They've certainly had their share of opportunities on offense, but yeah, another steal by Central as they run. 
to be completely honest, at this point, I feel kind of bad for St. Mary. Still, still a lot of game left, but at this point, St. Mary's not getting a lot of done on the offensive end, and Central is definitely getting their time to pay back for their mistakes. Is it here? Another loose ball. Oh, that's a call against St. Mary. That's right, and Central Devils will have the ball here. Central could not save it, out of bounds. I cannot see that far, Josh. I'm having a little tough time seeing, but Central's got it back in. Looking for a setup here. That was not um, hard another to see. Goal. That's another goal here. That is Caden Brand. That's her third goal. She's putting the team on her back right now. Fan favorite for sure. Now, if you're Mount St. Mary's in this timeout, you gotta look, you gotta value your options, and you gotta look to stop Caden Brown on uh, on offense. But Central, you love to see that Caden Brown with her third goal here, and just about 5:30 left of this first half. The Central takes a four nothing lead. See my friend Jordan down there. Not really my friend. I talked to him a couple times. Seems like you got a lot of friends here today, Logan. That's, uh, yeah, that might be true. The thing about Jordan is he's a strange guy. Brought a, like a giant water jug filled with milk to school. It's very strange. That's, uh, never heard that before. Certainly does not seem to sound good, but. Yeah. It's his life. That's, that's true. One thing, don't know a ton about lacrosse, but one thing I love about lacrosse is the ball itself. When I used to play baseball, I used to use that all the time to help with fielding and makes a great sore stretcher. It helps you stretch out your muscles and everything. It's got a lot of uses. Oh, yeah, definitely. And the thing about girls lacrosse is, like, it's a lot more focused on the game itself than boys lacrosse. That's Which true. I do find boys lacrosse a little more entertaining due to the physicality, but girls lacrosse is a lot more uh, focused on the technique of everything. That's true. Both both uh, girls and boys have their own respective games. My good buddy Tyler Rodriguez, co uh, worker here at, at HGTV, used to bring in a lacrosse ball every day to class last year. We'd, he'd help me stretch out anytime I was sore. Did he? He did. Didn't do that to me. I think we were in the same class. We were. We were. Gonna have to talk to him about that. It's pretty obvious that he has favorites. Mm. Thing is, I think he likes me better though. So both teams taking the field here. That is uh, another face-off after the Caden Brandt goal for third. You know, Josh, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody passes out on this field because I'm feeling like passing out in here. I'm telling you, we got a, we have a fan blowing in here. We're we're indoors here in the press box, but I'm... A couple open windows. Really, windows are open. I'm really hot, but can't imagine how these ladies feel. The Mount St. Mary is pushing up. Field. Feeding it to the teammates. We'll see if the Lions can score a goal here. There's still plenty of time for them to come back. It's right about five minutes, a little over five minutes left of this half.
like they're trying to get it in. That's an opening right there. And that will be out of bounds. So we'll stay here, though. Wing attackers here. Yeah, Emily Costella here, feeding it to Ella Reed. Josh, you have some immaculate eyesight to be able to see that far. It's very difficult, but I got to manage. Looks like that would will stay here. Grace Daly there, trying to make something work. And another whistle. Another hit. We'll still stay here. And Grace Daly feeding it for the Ma uh, for the Mount St. Mary Lions and out of bounds. Great defense here by Central. Now St. Mary can just keep it here for so long and never score a goal. It's actually a little impressive. Sounds like a recurring theme of this game. Loses the ball here, and Central will pick it up and run down the field. That was Al Rowinski with the steal. Looks like they're going to look for an opportunity to score here. Oh. oh looks like it's stolen. Could have been a 5 0 lead for Central, but that was a good stop there. By Mount St. Mary's. Their goalie. Couldn't see exactly who it was at their goalie, but it was either Katie Friedman or Audrey Pasolino. Freshmen and sophomores. And uh, so they looked to uh, make something work. Central hounding them on defense. Really making them work. Just under two minutes left this half. At the wing here. Mount St. Mary's looking to reset here on offense. Grace Daly here with the with the ball. This weather's starting. And to nice stop there by Central. Oh, fantastic! Oh, Rowinski again, denying Central or denying Mount St. Mary's, giving Central the advantage here on offense. Let's see if they make it a 5-0 lead. I'll tell you this, Josh, the weather's starting to take a toll on me. My muscles are getting really relaxed. What muscles? Very funny. I'm getting a massive headache. Well, hang in it, hang in there with the slogan. Central, Central's imagine. looking to balloon their lead to five. Can't imagine how the players must feel out there running around. I'm literally just standing here talking. They better be very hydrated. You won't, we won't, we won't want to lose you here, Central. Yeah. If I pass out, you can just commentate the rest of the game. Oh, good stop there by Mount St. Mary's. Making Central work a little more on offense this these last 10 minutes. And another steal here. That's Ella Rowinski again. And that's how the first half ends. Ella Rowinski doing a great job on defense. 
for the couple steals at the end of the first half. Overall, a terrific half for Central. Every time they got the ball, almost, they just put it right in the goal. Yeah. Not letting Mount St. Marys do anything on offense held them to zero goals in the first half as we have a 10-minute break here. St. Mary was at the goal almost the entire uh, half and no goals at all. That's very impressive by Central. That just shows you their testament to their defense. That's right. Well, I think one of the things about being here, and I think it's been here for a long time, is we have a culture, and we have standards that that you know we have a lot of history here. Last year was our you know 50th year of lacrosse here at Hunter Central, and these kids step in every year, and and they kind of know what's expected of them. I do think you know with with having some success in the past, these kids understand what it takes in order for us to be successful. Year in, year out, I'm always amazed at how they step up and you know how they understand the history and the standard of this program. And uh, I think that's probably the biggest thing right there is, is that they understand what they need to do to step into the shoes of the guys before them. It's an honor, honestly. Like last year, celebrating 50 years of the program, we have Coach Pop here, who's on the original team. Like, it's just crazy. Like, everyone here and me, myself, like, I'm always just thinking, like, everyone who used to play here, you're playing for them. You're not playing for yourself. You're playing for the team. You're playing for who used to play here. And that's why you have to try your best. Yeah, we were a senior heavy team last year. It's going to be to be hard without all those guys, but I think everyone's going to step up, fill their role, and we'll see how it turns out. This is a very respected program across the state. Uh, I enjoy playing here. I think everyone here understands the assignment, work hard every day, try and build off of past years, success, and everything. So I think everyone's excited for that. I think I see a lot of like potential. I mean, we've been working hard together all off season. A lot of it's like new players trying to mesh, so I think we're going through that now, but there's a lot of promise, I think. And have Kylie come behind. So even if we're not necessarily calling the play, this... Oh, we're 5-7, but we're actually going to go 445 to 515 in the weight room. All right, so we're going to meet there, make sure you have sneakers. So meet there, call Two hands on your six. Let's call them out. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Drop your... Marquette. Marquette. I'm really excited to just give it all I got. After this season, I won't be back on this field again or maybe ever. So I plan to leave everything I have out here, work as hard as I can every day at practice and scrimmages and all the games. We definitely lost a lot of talent with seniors graduating last year. And I think we're probably a young team, especially with only three seniors. But I know we have a lot of talent returning from last year and a lot of new talent coming into the program. And 100 and Central has a great name. Everyone, I think, is kind of scared to play us in sports. They know that 100 and Central is not an easy team to beat in terms of lacrosse, but in every sport, and I'm just really proud to be a Red Devil. Regardless of the fact that they're all really young, they're so experienced, and being able to know that they're such an experienced team, I have so much trust in them. And overall, just I've known these girls my entire life. So growing up with them, I know that they know what to do on the field, and when time is comes to do the stuff they need to do, that they'll get it all done. I'm excited. We have a good group coming back. We're pretty young. You know, we graduated only a couple seniors, and the, I mean, the seniors we graduated were really good players. They were the majority of our midfield, but we bring back most of our defense, um, a lot of attackers back. So it's just an exciting group to, to have this season. I've seen some guys that are ready to work. Um, we're younger, uh, a little bit more inexperienced than what we've been in the past. Um, so I was very straightforward with the team early on day one of practice that it's going to take a lot of work to get to where we want to get by the end of the season. Um, but just focusing on trying to get a little bit better every single day so we're playing our best volleyball when the time matters at the end. It's a little interesting. 
because from being younger and on varsity last year, definitely was more of a quieter person. Um, got to be more mentally strong this year and kind of bring up the whole team, make sure no one gets their head down during any play. A lot of chemistry is required for volleyball. A lot of times guys have miscommunications. That's what lets balls drop. So a lot of times uh, with communication, chemistry is built, uh, especially with like, the long reps, long hours I spent with the guys. We know whose ball is whose. We know how everyone hits, how everyone passes. We've learned everyone's sets. So we just have good chemistry together, a lot of hours together. and We're a great team when we play together, so it's great. I mean, first off, it's a pretty young team. We have a lot of underclassmen this year, and, and they're very good. So it'll be a great foundation for building the future teams. And we also have a very, very strong defensive front, as well as two new middles who are willing to adapt to this new environment of this position that they're playing. They're very good, both of them. There is no easy game. Every game is going to be tough for us. Every day, every game is going to be a challenge, um, and I think that's good for us, you know, um, to be challenged. And the girls need to know you're not going to just walk out there and just win every game. We have to work for it. I know every every senior I'm really close with this year. We have a really good bond with the team, and I think something that all of the seniors want is a good good year coming out of this, a winning season like we had last year. And for me as a senior this year, I just want good at bats, good games, good everything. I think it's a really great thing. I think it's something to be really proud of. Um, it's a really competitive environment in the games, like even in tryouts, it's a really fun environment to be a part of. Um, we've had so much, so many great memories, um, like my county championships, I've like been in two of them, and that's just such a great feeling. We work together really well. Um, most of us are returning. Um, so I think we've been playing with each other um, and we know each other really well. It's been um, an honor playing um, for Hunter and Central Softball for these um, past three years. Um, it's been a great experience and um, like lots of great people have like passed through. I mean, I really hope that's how they feel, and I really hope that they think, you know, they respect the program and they respect the, the older girls. They look up to them and want to, you know, be a part of it. Our record shows, you know, that it is a respectful program, and it's something to be proud of, to be a part of. Well, I mean, I feel like everyone's kind of competing for a spot right now. I mean, there's plenty of spots open, and, uh, I mean, everyone wants their spot on the team, and they're willing to fight for it. So, I mean, a lot of guys that uh, that are really just uh, just getting after it. Well, being a senior, I got to look after, like, sophomore, junior year, I got to look after all the seniors, how they acted. So I basically know, know what I'm doing and know how to treat these younger guys so they, when they're seniors, they know how to treat the rest, and it keeps going. Uh, I think it's just an awesome experience, especially like Hunter and Central Baseball. I mean, it's had a reputation of being a top program for years, but now to actually be playing in it, it's just it's even more fun. You just want to help the team any way you can and help help grow the, the program and the legacy here, and, and hopefully it'll carry over to the next years when some of the younger guys come up. There's no superstars on this team. It, it's, a, it's a team of really good baseball players, really good friends, and I think that's the kind of the approach that they've taken so far. Um, like I said, I've loved the teams that have come through before, but there's no real big egos right now, and it's a team that's really working together right now, and it's a versatile team. I have guys that are senior guys that are willing to move around three, four different positions on the field during a single game if they have to, just to make it work. Um, so I think that's what we're going to get from us this, this year, a bunch of guys that can play together as a unit um, that are willing to do anything.
and welcome back to HCTV, Central Girls Lacrosse versus uh, Mount St. Mary's Lacrosse. Central has a 4 nothing lead after the first half. Caden Brandt contributing to three of those goals as both teams will face off here. Yeah, we'll see if the Lions can bring it back here in this half after quite a devastating first half for them. It's going to be interesting to see how they uh, come back here. We've got 25 minutes to try to catch up with Central's lead. This whistle stops play. Teams will switch sides here. Mount St. Mary's, ball cradling, feeding to number 30, and number 24. If they can get a goal in here, that's going to change the whole tide of the game. Yeah, as uh, L. Reed feeds it to the teammate. Hey, another oh. another stop here by Central. Who's the goalie there? That looks like Isabel Koopa. All the goalies for Central are doing a fantastic job this game. Koopa's definitely been a huge c contributor to Central's lead here, not letting not St. Mary score. Letting nothing in. Central here, ex, ex attackman here behind the crease. In the crease around the goal. We're putting the moves on here. Good, good fake. We'll see if Central can make it 5 0. At that point, it would be pretty much over for the uh, Lions here. <coughs> Still a lot of time left. Never can say over until final buzzer sounds, but it's oh almost went in there. Stopped there by the goalie. And forward with out of bounds and it will be out of bounds. Mount St. Mary's ball. They'll have possession here. So they look to run upfield. Did you know, Josh, that lacrosse is one of the oldest sports? I did not know that, actually. It is. True. When was it first introduced to the world? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the year, but I do know it was one of the first. I did not know that. They had the little sticks. They made, like, string on them. It's very interesting. I think it was, at least. Baseball was one of the oldest, but... No, baseball was only around when America came around. I think rugby's been around longer than baseball. Outside Mary's here. Mountain Lions. We're going to get on the board here. So down four-point deficit. The ball's loose. Kick, and it'll stay here with the Mount St. Mary's. Central looking to get their first home win, first win and home win of 2023. And looking to head into spring break on a positive note. Certainly looking like it so far. Emily Costella passing it to Rene Vaza and she keeps it alive. I'm going to split the defense here. I'm trying to make something work here. And that will be a central ball. 
Oh, sorry. We'll stay here. Confusion. Yeah. The crowd and crowd did not like that call. It's very hard to tell whose position it is sometimes after the whistle. Very aggressive defense right here. Ooh. And we'll oh, stay here yet call again. That the crowd does not like. Well, St. Mary's has had uh, multiple opportunities here. Looks like we have a penalty shot. We'll see how this turns out. No goal. And those are certainly the ones you want to capitalize on. Yeah. One of the easiest shots to get. Sometimes the easiest ones are the hardest ones. What? There's a lot, what does that there's mean? A lot of there's a lot of pressure on that shot. But that that was certainly one that you want to capitalize on, especially when you're down four. Absolutely. These guys uh lines it's gonna be very hard for them to come back here. Grace Daly running into some trouble there. I'm going to feed it to some of her teammates, see if they can get anything going on. Back to Daly. And Central, good strategic defensive scheme here. Doubling whoever has the ball at all times. Certainly making Mount St. Mary's look for it teammates to help on those possessions but yeah making the defense a lot more aggressive out here good defense here by Elrowinski Grace Daly has it on the goal would have been a goal does not count you know what even though the Lions cannot uh, capitalize on their offense. I will give them that they're on offense quite a lot. They certainly know. They know how to keep the ball. They certainly know how to get on offense, whether it's capitalizing off of turnovers by Central or just off of Central's goals, even regaining possession. But Central will have it here. Not a lot of movement here. Ladies certainly look like fatigue is kicking in. It's kicking in for me too, to be honest with you, Josh. That might be an issue, but... I don't got too much longer here, I don't think. Oh, well, stick with us, Logan. About 17 minutes left in the half here. See how long I last. Caden Brandt was trying to make something work at the sophomore. But Whistle will prohibit that. She still has possession. Ooh. Tempt on Almost had it there. We'll trickle out of bounds. Red Devils will regain possession here. Mount St. Mary's looks a lot more active on the defensive side of the ball this half. Their coach definitely was pushing for more defensive uh, hounding up during the halftime. Yeah, they definitely kicked up the defense quite a bit, but offense seems about as good as it was in the first half. They got to capitalize on both sides of the ball, but... Let's see if they have any life left of them on offense. Looks like fatigue is kicking in for both teams. Still trying to make something work here. That is a goal for Mount St. Mary's. First of the game. That must be pretty exciting for them. Ella Reed scoring that goal, sophomore. 
And Mount St. Mary's is on the board now, 4-1 to lead for Central. Just a little over 15 and a half minutes left. Quite a few sophomores on both teams here. That's right. Both varsity, but still got a lot of youth on both teams. Sometimes being younger is better. Because you're faster, Josh. Yeah, it's you're true. Smaller. Got a lot more stamina. Surely. I remember when I was younger, I could run for a long, long time. But then I got, like, fat, and I couldn't run anymore. But now I can run a little bit, because I'm not fat. Interesting story. And that ex-attackman looking to make something happen here for Central. They want to... They want to draw even here with uh, Mount St. Mary's regain that goal that they lost that they gave up it would certainly be a huge momentum booster if they were to regain that as feet inside lost battle but we'll stay here that was Jelly Snell and she scores Jelly Snell with her second goal absolutely dominating lead by Central right now Five to one with fourteen minutes, thirty one seconds left in the half. And that's the game. that's what you love to see. Central well, maybe a little more lazy there on the defensive side, giving up a goal to the Mount St. Mary's, but on the other side of the ball, able to score. Still got a four point lead. One from three to four. A little more wiggle room here for them as they face off here in mid midfield. Do you know anybody on the central team, Josh? Um, I know a few. Who do you know? Um, mostly the juniors, cause uh, I'm a junior. What are they like, Josh? I don't know. I'm not really friends with any of them, but I am aware of who they are. I'm not. And another goal here. Aiden Brandt with her fourth goal. Oh, wait. Will this not count? Looks like they stopped it. Looks like the ref's talking over the players. Not sure if this will count or not. And... Um, still not sure if this will count or not. Looks like that's not good. I don't think anybody on Central is happy about that. Thank you. Still talking it over here. The coach for Central. But it looks like the play is over. Ref still explaining the play. Central's coach. It looks like the goal will not count. That is that is devastating for Central. That could have been the dagger, but Snow would have had her second goal instead. She's got one on the on the day, and uh, five to one lead for Central Mount St. Mary's. With possession here, as they are behind the goal here, attackers. And a great defense, just hounding them. Leads to a Mount St. Mary's. Oh, almost leads to a Mount St. Mary's turnover here. Looks Lost like possession. And they are close to being out of bounds. Instead, they will be okay. And we'll regain possession. A 
a great job there. Lucia Capone just put her stick out, allowing the ball to hit the stick and stop. And Central lob ball. Al Rowinski with another steal. She's doing a great job. This game on defense and ball trickles off of Central player's foot. Regained by Central. And oh, certainly could have had an opportunity to score there. Instead they'll reset. Nothing to worry about. Twelve and a half left to play. Good ball movement here. And oh, almost bounced it in. Instead, ate up by Central's goalie, or excuse me, Mount St. Mary's goalie, prohibiting Central to score. You know, this half has felt a lot closer than the first half between the two teams. Certainly, it seems more of a, even though fatigue might have kicked in for both teams, they're still very energetic and still very active on both ends of the ball, so offensive and defensively. So far, they've each scored a point this half compared to last half where Central had four and St. Mary had zero. Yeah, Mount St. Mary's defense has looked a lot better this half. So has Central's defense has looked uh, outstanding. As you see, every time a player on Mount St. Mary's gets the ball, another player will come up and help play help defense and double team. And Fantastic Stop save. the goal there. She needs some help here. The goalie will help. And that could have been a lot worse for Central as uh, their goalie was not there. Yeah, good thing Sam fumbled Kubo. that ball there. Yeah, that's right. Isabel Kubo was not there. Could have led to an easy open goal there from out St. Mary's instead Whistle will stop play and they'll, they'll have the ball at the 20 yard line. Bobbled here but regained. Grace Daly here. And eight up here by Isabel Cooper. Great pass up upfield. That's called a clear, Josh. That is called a clear. Thank you, Logan. No problem. And just hit the ten minute mark. So a little under ten left to play. Mount St. Mary's has to hurry here if they want to get back in this game. And another steal by Central. Sponzo here. Hold the center. ball as they do not have to rush on offense here. They can take their time with a 5-1 lead. And they'll just pass the ball around. Still trying to score, of course, but they will not have to rush like Mount St. Mary's will on offense. Yeah, they can be a lot more patient looking for opportunities. We'll just keep feeding it to each other. So the ref was almost they hit with the ball that that time. Just keep doing this for the next eight minutes. Around the world they go with the ball. Looks like they're closing in now. And if you're Mount St. Mary's, you need to stop them from keep going around. Oh, nice. Another stop here. Uh, Audrey Basolino, the sophomore. Oh, a trip. Bodies on the ground. Doesn't look like there's a call on that.
clock still runs as we hit the eight minute mark the second half and the clock will stop now how do you know that Josh? know what? that the clock is going to stop well usually I'm not a, not a lacrosse guy but uh, in basketball when a whistle stops unless it's two minutes left of the quarter the the clock will keep running but if there's two minutes left of the quarter the clock will stop and I just assumed that at, uh, after a whistle the clock would stop and it was right as uh, eight minute even on the clock you know Josh I've watched sports my whole life and I've never noticed that really that's a very looks interesting like, thing you just taught me looks like you need to pay more attention maybe I do was a trip there, no call. Almost it bobbled the ball by Mass St. Mary's. Central denying the chance to pick it up and whistle will stop play. Rachel Costello the junior. Now, oh, nice move there. Almost put the spin cycle on there. We'll stay here, though. I feel like St. Mary definitely needs to dial up the intensity by quite a bit if they want to have a chance of winning here. They would need a, a goal here, certainly, as they will not get one here. Central trying to box out there, so they would the ball would go out of bounds, and Central will retain the ball. Seems like at this point, Central is going to pull away with this win. Mount St. Mary's had plenty of opportunities to score. You got to credit Central's defense, preventing them to score. Central's defense has been amazing today, only allowing one goal after they allowed 14 against Pingree on Tuesday. 14. They allowed 14. They had certainly, coach had discussion with the players about intensifying their defense and it certainly seems to work today because they've only given up one goal here. It's a Mount St. Mary's team who didn't have the greatest record last year, 14-8, but still. Very similar record to Central, only slightly worse. Yes. What a three game difference there as another stop here by Audrey Basolino. Number 50, the goalie, sophomore from Mount St. Mary's. She's had her fair share of goals scored on her by Central, but got a Still got to give credit to her. She's still made a lot of stops. This game could be a lot worse for Mount St. Mary's. Definitely not for Central. So we hit the five minute as we hit the five minute mark. Central will retain the ball here. Jelly Schnell tried to swing at her. Round of applause from the fans here as they love what they see. You know, the crowd is so passionate here, it makes me want to clap with them. A lot me, of energy. me too, Logan. With Mr. Johnson in the press box so giving a, a round of applause for the girls. Timeout here by both. By, uh, not sure who took the timeout. Probably Mount St. Mary's. Did you take a minute here, Josh? You see that giant dog over there? I do. That's a, it's a huge dog. Very, that's a huge dog, but very cute dog also. Yeah. You have any pets? I do. You have a dog? I have two dogs and two cats. Wow. 
Yeah. Did they get along with each other? Uh, some of them, some of them don't. It's uh, good and bad at the same time. Yeah. What about you, Josh? You I have, have any pets? I have two dogs. How do they get along? They get along great. They love each other. You know, my dog, he's in the house all the time. Okay. Thanks for, not, sharing, thanks for sharing that with us. It's, I don't like that dog very much. My other dog is good. I like him. Thanks for sharing with us, Logan. As a, give credit to Central here as they uh, lost by double their points to Pingree on Tuesday. Allowing 14. Certainly amped the intensity on defense today. Only allowing one. Didn't score as much. There's still a lot of time left this game, but at this point they didn't score as much as they did against Pingree. But rather score more than give up more. And that's certainly what they've done today. So Mount St. Mary's looking to cook something up. Battle for the ball. And we'll stay here with Central. They had yet another opportunity to make something happen. But see Mount St. Mary's coach shaking their head. Going back to the sideline. Certainly a lot to be frustrated about today for them. Not for Central, though. They, at this point, will try to run the clock out as much as possible. Still trying to score, but they have no rush here on offense. Definitely. We're nearing the end of the game here with about 3 minutes 45 seconds left. Try to score there. Would not go, but regained by Central. And uh, Mount St. Mary's, if you're trying to, if you're still trying to compete in this game, you want to do the best you can to stop Central from passing the ball around, feeding it to each other. See, Central has great ball movement this entire game. This was helped them score five goals here, but definitely, Caden Brandt, the uh, most goals on the team. St. Mary's really got to amp up the intensity and the aggressiveness really fast if they want a shot at winning. It seems like here a goal there. Seeming even more unlikely now after that goal. Caden Brandt, another goal. At six to one with three minutes left in the game. She is putting her back on. She's putting the team on her back on offense today. It's a, definitely a group effort from everyone, but as far as the stat sheet goes, she has most goals so you got to give credit to her absolutely Central will pick up the ball. Caden Brandt with it. St. Mary has no answer for Caden Brandt today. As she has, I believe she has four goals. Believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but she had four goals against Pingree on Tuesday. Led We'll lead this game with goals. So that's su something you certainly love to see for Central. You have a uh, star player after having a great freshman season looking to have an even better season in their sophomore year. That one's eight up by Bessalino. And Central. We'll retain it yet again. Great move there. Get a less than two left. So the rest is for Vegas. Trying to see who scores the most. Looks like it will be Caden Brandt. Might be Josh. There's a whistle. We'll stop play here. 
With a minute 33 left to play. And penalty shot. And goal. Another point. Jacqueline Sponza. It's all but Sophomore. over here for St. Mary's now. Yep. Seven to one. Seven lead. to one lead. Central has scored, has matched their first game score. A face off here between two teams just shy of a minute 30 left to play. And Mount St. Mary's will have it. Just trying to make the box score look a little better than what has happened on the field today. I'll give him this. You can still see that they're running two out Two ladies down from at St. Mary's. Not sure if it was a collision or a trip or what happened, but Kaylee Moran was down, and uh, Emily Costello is down. She might have to come out of the game grabbing her face. Might have hit her nose. And she'll be replaced here with a minute six left. Just trying to hope she's okay. Looks like they're getting everything ready. Uh, they would need a quick goal here. Central is doing everything they can. And they, another stop here by Isabel Kupo. Got to give a lot of credit to her today. Ken Brandt upfield. Would have made it 8-1 game, but that just shot been. hit the post and there's 35 seconds left. Sorry, Logan, what were you saying? It would have just been a little excessive at that point. Insult to injury for uh, St. Mary. Yes, but at the same time, Central still early in the season seeing what works and what doesn't. Obviously, what they did today it worked. worked a lot as they will run the clock out with 12 left. And that's what you love to see for Central after getting... Blown out by Pingree on Tuesday. Pingree's a great team, but this is what you want to see is uh, as the horn sounds, teammates celebrate as they all come together. That's Central's first win of the season right there. Hopefully first of many. Central 1-0 at home, so they lost on the road. But this is what you love to see. Defense, offense, everything was working for them today.